Hi guys, this is Shell with Creative Shell Bear. Today I'm going to show you how I made these cute jars that you can use uh, as vases or to put candies in or for gifts. Okay, so first I have a pint jar. It's just a clean pint jar. And I have some snow text. So I just kind of stir it up. And I just used it last night. So, And I'm just going to... If it's too thick, it says you can add a little bit of water. I think it'll be okay. So I'm just going to pat it on here. And I really like the look of the snow. And the, you know, the texture of it I think is just so cool. And this is a jar. I don't know if I picked it up. Or if I got it, you know, at a yard sale. Let me show you the jar real quick. I get a bunch of things at yard sales around here, but it's just Deco Art Snow Tex. And it was $1.99. And I did look it up, and it is at Hobby Lobby for like $2.49 for this is two ounces. I'm just covering the whole jar. This is my cat. Honey, go. Daddy, call the cat. Chloe, come here, honey. <laughs> Sorry, she wanted to be famous. <laughs> okay, so I'm about done here. And I'm just doing the bottom part of the jar because I'm going to decorate the top part. And I want to, you know, make sure that this doesn't fall off. I'm not, I don't think it will. It seems pretty secure after it dries, but I just want to double check. Just make sure it's going to be okay. And you can put it on as thick as you like or as thin as you like. I kind of like the, a little bit of thickness because it looks kind of like the snow's kind of built up on it. So I'm going to finish this up and let it dry for a couple of hours and I'll be back and we will do the decoration. Okay, so we're back and it has dried. So I want to show you, I did also did salt and I want to show you that one. And what I did is I had Elmer's glue and I just smeared the Elmer's glue on, brushed it on really heavy. And then I put uh, sea salt because that's all I ha happened to have in the house because um, I had seen where they used like um, um, the one stuff, Mod Podge. <laughs> and put that on and then put um, Epsom salt. So I just used what I had and I really liked how it turned out. Um, I like this one better because it looks more, you know, like snow and stuff and that's kind of what I was going for. And the salt's kind of fallen off. I could have put a, um, um, like maybe sprayed some kind of sealant on it to hold the salt on. But I think it turned out okay, and I went ahead and used it. And for this one, let me show, see all the salt. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's really coming off. So you don't want to handle it very much. Or, and I will probably um, put a sealant on it. But I just made a little snowman out of it. And this was actually a candy corn. I just used buttons. This was a candy corn button I had. And I just took my um, marker and I just... Uh, colored it in to make it orange and make it look like a carrot and I think it turned out so cute and I will probably either use this for a vase I get a lot of flowers so maybe for a vase I think it would be really cute to have this on the bottom and uh, or maybe some candies or something like that I just think they would be really cute so that's what I think of the salt one it's pretty messy so let me clean that up and I'll show you the <laughs> it's really messy. I'd say there's probably about a teaspoon of salt in my hand right now. Okay. So I want to decorate this up. And I really, instead of the traditional colors, I want to go with the blue and the silver and the white. And I have this, have some of this ribbon in my stash. And I think it's too... It's two and a half inches, but it's way too too long for 
what I wanted to do. So I'm going to fold it to where I want it to go. And I'm going to put this, also I have found this lace in my stash. And uh, I kind of want this just to come up just a touch, you know, from the blue. And this is a wire ribbon. And it's just stuff I already had. And I just want to use, you know, use up what I have. So I'm going to go ahead and tack that down with my hot glue gun, kind of where I want it to be, just so that um, it's not so difficult. And then I will fold the other part over and attach it to my jar. And I'm just going to put it right there, I think. And it is um, pretty sheer, so you can definitely feel the heat on that. So you want to be careful, you know, even though this is a low temp gun. It's just pretty warm. But I just want just a touch of that blue showing. The blue and the silver. I don't know if that's maybe not quite. Just a little hot. I can kind of hear my kitten out there playing. <laughs> I think he needs some attention, but he's not very happy right this second. But my older cat has found him, so they're both playing, so maybe that's what he needed. Okay. I'm just going to let that sit for just a sec. Okay, I'm going to turn this over. I think I'm going to put it down just a little bit under the ruffle. And I'm going to go ahead and tack that down too so that it just stays and it's easier to adhere to the jar. <clears throat> and I was just going to tell you guys, if, just in case you're wondering where I got my name from, um, when my husband and I got married, the Shell Bear, when my husband and I got married and started dating, he always called me Shell. Which is kind of funny because no one has ever given me a nickname in my life. So, you know, I've always been Michelle. And uh, I always wanted a nickname. And so when we started dating, he started calling me Shell. Well, um, we started collecting those little Boyd's Bears. I don't know if you've seen them, but they're like a little resin Boyd's Bears. And, you know, there's some taking pictures and some uh, just really cute, like from the Hallmark store. So when we uh, first got the internet, I don't know how many years ago, 17 years ago or whatever, when we first got the internet, he, um, I'm just going to add here this ribbon, um, you know, it said, well, you know, to make up a code, tell us what your, um, your name would be and, you know, maybe something you collect and I just ended up with Shell Bear and so because I collect those boys bears and right now I have like over well over a hundred of them and the little place that we got them at because I just live in a small small town in Cortez or in Colorado and the place that we used to buy them went out of business and he would buy them for you know any occasion and so that's where the name shell bear came from so for all these years that's what my little code I use on the internet is, and so that's where Shell Bear came from. Okay, so I'm adhering that, and I just put the lace kind of where I wanted it to be. And uh, that was kind of little raw edges, and I just wanted to kind of cut those off. Make it, you know, look nicer and neater. <clears throat> I really love this ribbon, and none of the other ones that were the correct size that I thought were the correct size would work. You know, I didn't like near as much as this, so I just made this work. And people say that I've been known, you know, that my house is a Hobby Lobby. <laughs> and it kind of is, but you know, I hardly ever pay full price for anything because we have so many yard sales around here. And okay, sorry about that. Um, so, anyways, like I said, I got most of my stuff from yard sales. Um, 
So, you know, it's always a surprise to me what's in my stash. So I found this really sheer blue ribbon that I want to make a bow out of. So I'm just going to make a bow. I'm not going to cover that up. I'm just going to make a bow. And let me show you how I make mine because mine's a little bit different. You know, I think when you learn to make bows, it just depends on whoever teaches you. And, uh how you end up making them. So let me grab a pair of, oh wait, maybe they're in here. Here they are. I use a pair of pliers, a little pair of pliers, and then I use some, um, this is beading wire. I typically use floral wire, but that's in my uh, shed outside. So what I do is I'm kind of making like a four or six, uh, rounds so I kind of scrunch up the center and I just roll it on my fingers and when you're first making bows they're really hard to kind of get coordinated and you know get them to go the way that you want them to go and your hands cramp up and but I used to work as at a florist and I had known how to make bows before then so but she gave me some little tips and stuff too so for a while I was a florist for about a year or so it was a lot of fun okay so I'm just I just turned over the little piece and then you just kind of go make you know equal sides equal amounts on either side but when you come back with your second one just make it just a touch longer and I think I was just going with that because I don't want it too overwhelming I just wanted a little extra blue in there so I'm just going with that, and then I want the little um, the ribbon, the uh, tails. I want them to kind of hang down the jar. So I'm going. I just did a big loop, kind of maybe a little bit further than what I'm looking for. So and then take your wire. You know what? I'm going to cut that real quick. And you just want to cut it kind of close, but not too close, because you don't want you want to make sure and get that end in your wire. So you're gonna, this wire's a little bit more fragile than like a floral wire would be. So when you're tightening, use your pliers, just kind of pull on it and just tighten. And you know, depending on the wire, you can tighten as little or as much as you need to. And I don't like to have a lot of movement in my bows so that you know I can go ahead and you know put them out the way that I want them to go so they're kind of so they kind of stay the same so I have two on this side two on this side and then I'm just gonna clip the um, he's really okay he's just out <laughs> he's just playing crying I can't figure out what his meows mean yet so, and then I'm just going to come down here and just clip that and I'll clip my wire and you can clip it, you know, as far or as narrow as you want it to go. And, uh, I'm just going to hot glue that onto my jar, but I really liked that. But first I do have some little beads that I was going to use. Just some, some I had in my stash and I'm just going to, uh, Put them just under that first ruffle kind of on this little line I just thought that was cute and you know what I'm gonna take care of him real quick and I'll be right back okay sorry about that um, the kitten we just got was up in the kitchen sink and you know he's been an outside cat so we're trying to teach him that that is not kosher that he is not allowed to do that so we're still trying to kind of him figure out our house and vice versa so what I did is I went ahead and I added the um, uh, ribbon or the beads around and then I'm just going to attach this ribbon and I just did that in the where the seam was because I like to have a look you know where it's um, you can't tell where it begins and where it ends so I just use the seam and I just cover it up and then you never really and you know the and tips of that and I'm just gonna hot glue that down the little and like I said I'll probably either use this for flowers I still get you know I get flowers every week usually from my husband 
he's very romantic and so we just I can always use an extra vase and this will be kind of fun you know just a different little vase to have around and I, I like the blue and the silver and it kind of you know is a different look a different Christmas look instead of the traditional green and red and I kind of like the little dovetails so I just fold it the ribbon about as long as I want it to be and then I just do a little thing and then I have like the little perfect little dovetails and I don't care you know it, it doesn't bother me that they're not perfect I mean sorry about that but so I just fold it and then just do the little thing and I think it looks really cute and you can add as much or as little as you want to to these you know I just think it's a cute look I really like the snowy look and I tried this last night because I wanted to see how this would work because I happened upon my uh, snow tech while I was in the craft room but I put it on this little little one the so I just wanted to find out, you know, and then I went ahead and I decorated this because I was thinking, you know, you always have flowers or something that uh, you need a jar for and whenever you're doing a bouquet of flowers or something, one always typically um, breaks, you know, halfway down so it's not long enough for a taller jar. So this is a perfect like little bud vase and you can do whatever you want if you don't want to decorate the lip you could decorate a lid and put the lid on maybe fill it full of candies or something like that so here's what we have let's see so I think they turned out really cute I really like them I you know the like I said the salt you're gonna have some fall off so you want to make sure and seal that maybe with some kind of spray and sealant and I think I'll probably be doing that if I'm going to handle it at all. So thank you guys for watching.